Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dia and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I got something a little bit different. I don't really do these type of videos very often, but I've been seeing so many people using this and so many people have been having like fun with it that I wanted to go ahead and give it a try. So as you guys know, with the with how the content is coming out for Modern Warfare 3, we do have challenges pretty much every single week for eight weeks straight, and then we get a seasonal essentially camo we can grind towards. So if you just go to the event tab, which by the way, I haven't finished this, I'm gonna end up finishing this hopefully like on sunday ish but if we go to the weekly challenges you guys can see we're on week two we have literally five days till the next one and then we'll end up getting to work towards this chain breaker camera but that's not what i'm looking at today i'm looking at the jack cataclysm it's the conversion kit for the rpk it turns the rpk into a barrette 50 cal sniper rifle and i'm not gonna lie i haven't used it but this is what we're gonna be using today so this is actually gonna be the build we're going with it's gonna be the hm res mod suppressor the sl skeletal vertical grip the true tech grip the broadside fct stock and the jack conversion kit i'm also working on the mastery challenges i don't i'm not nearly close to being done and i'm probably not gonna have i'm not gonna be able to play enough call of duty before black Ops six drops which i want to talk about a little bit today as well but we're basically just going for the platinum challenge i stream every sunday at twitch.tv for slash link is in the description and let's just get straight into it thankfully we spawned into a brand new lobby you got stash house this is a map that isn't in the 12v or the 10v10 playlist i'm actually really happy it's not in there because this i'm pretty sure this probably goes with rust and shipment for some of the smallest maps we've ever seen i mean that ADS speed is killer, so I'm definitely playing much slower. I think, like, yeah, this guy with the shield is also going to be fucking using it. I've been seeing this gun everywhere, and I purposely haven't tried it because I want to try it with, with my first impressions kind of recorded. I also could probably, hold on, I could probably switch the gloves as well to help me out. Because I am running ordnance gloves. If I just run marksman gloves while I'm getting shot at, I wonder if, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Ooh, collat without the extra mo ammo modification okay yeah i don't know if i want to run around quick scope with this thing i'm not gonna not gonna lie i don't know even if it's possible to build this thing to be fast enough at least for my comfort because like i'm gonna be walking around quick scoping people like this i mean uh, ah! i'll have to look at it stats wise in comparison to the xrk stalker because that's literally the only that's my most used weapon in this call of duty now because i was doing the challenge and it felt really fucking nice so i wonder if uh I wonder how this hang holds in comparison to that. This guy is going fucking crazy. Holy shit. And he, st <laughs> and he still fucking died. Like, dude. Now, I don't know if that movement breaks aim assist, but... I just instinctually, I am so sorry. Fucking executes are part of the challenges and I feel, I feel bad because I haven't been able to get any. I've got one, I think. Yeah, okay, so the consistency of this thing, I mean, oh my fucking god this thing is insanely consistent i think i've gotten maybe one hit marker if that and i'm just somebody who like i can't run around in quicksilver with a sniper that's as slow as this i mean i could try i don't think i'll find much success but i can try one thing i really hope black ops 6 does super well i've been noticing that a lot of people have been talking about and so i kind of wanted to give my two cents on it is the aftermarket parts or at least some variation because i've seen a couple of people bring it up and i've actually had the discussion as well nothing crazy but more so just something different the aftermarket parts are just they, they keep the game feeling vibrant but it just gives you something to work towards every week if they don't add it i don't think it's the end of the world i don't think it's that like horrendously large of a deal if they're not added i will say though if they're not added they i feel like they need something because players have been used to Oh, nice. 45 kills. Holy shit. With the aftermarket parts, it like it changed my LMG into a sniper rifle. Like, I don't care what anyone said. That that is a fantastic addition to the game. I genuinely believe that. It's been great to work towards them. I took a long break from the game just because it had nothing to do with the rewards or anything. It was simply playing the game. And so like I'm still unlocking the Jack Harbinger kit, which I think came out like a couple weeks ago. It's like, I also think that I think the bundles, that this is something I'm not concerned about in terms of being a player, but this is something I'm more concerned about with them in the game. Meaning I they, obviously they're gonna make money 
and people like to spend money on the game and that's awesome i don't spend a lot of money i think the gundam bundle that i have is probably the most amount of money i've spent and that's literally from playing the game and saving up cod points maybe it is possible to quick scope. maybe it is possible to quick scope with this thing holy fuck Yeah, so far, I'm seeing, like, zero consistency issues with this gun, except for my own fucking aim. I swear, I go to shoot somebody, and my sight is either, is, like, barely off. I think that's my first hit marker. If that's not my first hit marker, it's definitely... really hope with the release of black ops 6 do they give us like now i'm gonna be playing the game anyways i just fucking like the game or the franchise and i have a feeling that every black ops title that's come out i've been a fan of and they've been the call of duties i put the most time into but with that like still being said i really hope this game is just good i hope it keeps the player base involved and it doesn't cause the player base to dwindle out and die and obviously do i think call of duty is ever gonna like fully die probably not but what i do think it do i think it would get smaller and smaller over time and that is something i do not want to happen like ever ah i can't i can't fucking hit anyone oh my god fuck man I like how this guy was using an auto and then he just fucking pulls out the sniper rifle after a while. He's like, he's like, he's like, I'm done with your shit. Ah! Run! Run away. I'd rather die to the kill streak. I'd rather die to the kill streak. Fuck you. 52. Nice. Yeah, this thing is insane. But I hope Black Ops 6 ends up giving us consistent content. Black Ops 6 needs to be a banger. And I'm not talking about for Call of Duty. I'm talking about for the Black Ops series specifically. In order to, like a better term, keep its, like, dominance. Because I think the Black Ops series is just, it's better than the Modern Warfare series in more ways than just being a better game overall. It, like, does everything individually better except for maybe consistent content i don't think i think that having dailies and stuff in cold war was a start this is doing the consistent content better we get like two or three updates a season and then we get the aftermarket parts with the extra stuff piled on top of it we also have the calling card challenges i don't remember if those are in cold war i would love to do something like this as long as like you know the launchers aren't fucking abysmal like they were in modern warfare 2 like the strella the rpg the javelin and the, i'm sorry a thousand javelin kills is absurd I haven't used Polyatomic at all from Modern Warfare 2. I have the game on, I think, Balance. I have it on Basic. I have the game on Basic right now, and it still looks like you can see the edges and stuff. It looks pretty solid. If I have the graphics cranked up, this thing would look amazing. Also, I think if I'm recording, I think running the game on anything higher than Balance is like a detriment and causing my, gonna cause my PC to explode. I mean, I'm sorry, the gun is just easy to use. You're literally playing a point and click adventure game. It's just, I got a hit marker, are you fucking, dude, just jump again, please, just jump again. You fucking moron. Oh, imagine, imagine if I, oh my God. Who's typing me that? What's his name? Sora Burns. Brother has seven fucking kills. He leave. That guy fucking left. You're gonna talk shit. Do not like talk your shit and instantly leave the lobby. Like I, I doesn't. I don't. I don't get it. Talk your shit. Stand your ground. Or be a complete fucking pussy. It's just, oh my god. It's whatever. I won. You're gonna fucking. This thing is a fuck. Is fucking insane though. I cannot lie. Like. The damage model on this thing is going to get changed. For how easy this thing is to use, it's gonna get changed. I mean, I'm sitting here dropping 55 fucking kills. 
Now, do I care about getting the dub in this game? No. Nope. Why? Because, I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm not a super good sniper, so I'm not gonna sit here and, like, quickscope my way to victory, sprinting around, hitting, like, clips all day, every day. I'm just not that good. I mean, we got shit on, but I played the objective more than anyone else on my team, and everybody was fucking leaving. Either way, the gun is fucking busted. I don't know. I hope Black Ops 6 adds some, some fun stuff like this. Where you can do the weekly challenge, I don't know. I didn't touch on that too much because I was just having so much fucking fun. But yeah, this this thing is, I mean, 71, I mean, I fucking, I, can, I, I think it went well. Despite taking the fattest L. But thank you guys for hanging out today. I really do appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And let me know if you guys have used this. I'm really curious to know what the community consensus is. I think everyone's just agreed that this shit is fucking busted as hell and it's going to get patched. And also let me know if you guys are trying any other builds with it. I'm actually really enjoying sniping. And I mean, if you go to, I mean, the sni- the, My two most used weapons are literally a sniper rifle and a riot shield. I'm currently using the WSP9 because my chat decided on last Sunday to go and get the mastery charm for this weapon. When this is done, we'll be- sh Which should be done actually on Sunday. Thank you guys for hanging out. Really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!